Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 33rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about date and time functions and uh, you know there are a lot of interesting date and time functions in Python and there are so many modules that you can import and you can you know use the methods in those modules but you know since we have a time constraint I'm not going to talk about all the date and time functions I'm just going to talk about the most interesting ones and you know the ones that I find most uh, you know uh, useful so the first method that we're going to check out is called the time method and this method requires a module of the same name which is time right so I'll import the module first by typing in import space time and uh, this method returns the timestamp of uh, the current time right so it returns the current timestamp that is and the timestamp is the number of seconds that have elapsed between January 1 1970 12 a.m and uh, the current time right so if I call this function I have to type in time dot time the first time is the name of the module the second time is the name of the function and uh, empty parentheses and there you go this is the current timestamp 139 359 8815 and something right so this number is extremely useful you know using this number you could pull out so many values like the year the day the you know the time number of hours number of minutes number of seconds so many things and you know the beauty of working with timestamps is that each second has a different timestamp right so if i would execute this function again I would get a different value and that's because more seconds have elapsed and you know the timestamp has changed right so to convert this number into something more readable you know something that we can uh, work with I'll use the local time function of the time module and as an argument to this I'll pass the current timestamp right so when I do that I see that the year is 2014 the month is 2 which is February the day of the month is 28 and then the time right now is 2017:48, which is 8 p.m. You know, 8:17 p.m. and 48 seconds have elapsed. And uh, you know, this is the fourth day of the week. So you know, by default, Monday has the index zero, right? So Monday is zero, Tuesday is one, and uh, Wednesday is two, Thursday is three, and Friday is four. And today is Friday, that's why I see the value four here. And it's also the 59th day of the year. And, uh, you know, in my country, daylight saving is not used. So that's why I see the value zero here, right? So we get this nine item tuple when we execute the local time function. And if we want to, you know, get even more useful information or, you know, even more comprehensible information, then uh, we can use the ASC time function, right? And again, that function requires a time module. I'll type in ASC time and a set of parentheses. And when I do that, I see the same values but you know as a string firstly so I don't get a tuple this time I get a string and you know it's much more pleasant to the eyes so you know the day is Friday and it's February 28th and the time is 2018 49 and the year is 2014 right so this is this is much cooler and uh, the next method that we're going to check out is the make time function it's called make time but it's actually mk time right and this function works with the uh, this kind of a tuple and it returns a timestamp so let's say we want a timestamp for you know not the uh, current date or the current time we want a timestamp for some day that has passed or you know some day that is going to you know happen like 20 years later right so to do something of that sort the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a tuple and i'm going to call this tuple my tuple and uh, I'll use parentheses to create it, of course. And uh, let's say I want to work with the year 1993 and uh, April. So the second argument is the month number. And that's why I'll type in four here if, you know, we have to work with April. And uh, let's say, you know, I want to see the timestamp for 6th April. So I'll type in six as a third argument. And let's say uh, the time for which I want to see the timestamp is 3.23 uh, p.m. and uh, 15 seconds. So I'll type in 15 here for three and we're working with the 24 hour format you know just to clarify things and then 23 minutes and 15 seconds and let's say i don't have any information about you know what day of the week that is or what day of the year that is or uh, you know the let's just put zero as the daylight saving value and when i press the enter key the tuple is created now if i want to see the timestamp of this date all i have to do is type in time dot mk time and uh, then pass in this tuple as an argument to the function 
and there you go i see the timestamp value and again you know i can use the time dot local time method to make more sense out of uh, you know the stupid like for instance these are missing values at the moment you know the zero here and the zero here we don't know what these values are but if i pass this timestamp to the local time function then i can find out right so i'll do that by typing time dot local time and then time dot mk time and the name of the tuple as an argument right so when i press the enter key i see that you know this day happens to be the first day of the week so you know that's tuesday and it also happens to be the 96th day of the year so 6th april 1993 you know and we see the time also that's 3:23 p.m. and 15 seconds so we get you know this this information and you know we can pull out individual items out of the tuple in case you know you want just parts of this date and uh, there's so much you can do right so we're going to check out some more interesting date and time functions in the next tutorial i hope you guys like this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you in the next video till then take care